Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. For all positive integers a and b, we have that a times b is a positive integer. Now in this series, we are using a list of 10 axioms for the real number system, and I'll leave that list of axioms in the description below. Now in this video, we are going to be using axioms 1, 3, and 6. Axioms 1 and 3 are just the commutative and distributive laws. Axiom 6 tells us about the real number 1, and it tells us 1 times x is equal to x for all real numbers x. Now, we have defined the positive integers as a subset of our real number system. And in particular, we have shown for all positive integers a and b, a plus b is a positive integer. And we'll refer to this result by saying the positive integers is closed under addition. Now, importantly, we have also proven that the principle of mathematical induction holds for the positive integers. So, to prove this theorem, we are going to use induction. So to start with the proof, let's first give ourselves an arbitrary positive integer a. From here, we proceed by induction on b to show for all positive integers b, we have a times b is a positive integer. So let's start with the base case. In the base case, we're trying to show that this is true in the case where b is equal to 1. So really, we're trying to show that a times 1 is a positive integer. Now, applying axioms 1 and 6, first of all, by axiom 1, a times 1 is equal to 1 times a. But then by axiom 6, 1 times a is equal to a. So then, since a is a positive integer, and these guys are equal, we can replace a with a times 1. So we have a times 1 is a positive integer. And that is exactly what we wanted to show. So this completes the base case. Now, let's move on to the induction step. In the induction step, we can give ourselves an arbitrary positive integer b, and we assume that this is true for that arbitrary positive integer b. From here, the whole goal is to show that this is also true for b plus 1. So really, we want to show that a times b plus 1 is a positive integer. Now first, by axioms 1, 3, and 6, first, by axiom 3, we can distribute a across this parentheses. So this is really just equal to a times b plus a times 1. But then, by axiom 1, a times 1 is equal to 1 times a. But then, by axiom 6, 1 times a is equal to a. And now let's use the fact that the positive integers is closed under addition. Since the positive integers is closed under addition, well, since a times b is a positive integer and a is a positive integer, that tells us a times b plus a is a positive integer. So then, since a times b plus a is equal to a times b plus 1, we can replace this guy with a times b plus 1. So we have a times b plus 1 is a positive integer. And that is exactly what we wanted to show. So this completes the induction step. Because we completed both the base case and the induction step, this closes the induction. So by mathematical induction, we have shown for all positive integers b, a times b is a positive integer. And we showed that this is true for an arbitrary positive integer a. So we have shown for all positive integers a and for all positive integers b, a times b is a positive integer. 
And that is exactly what we wanted to prove. So this completes the proof. Now, another way of putting this is to say that the positive integers is closed under multiplication. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.